guys, so today's video is going to be something a little bit different for my channel, it's a new video format, very exciting. Um, I was thinking over the past few weeks of new things that I could do on my channel that I haven't really done before to kind of freshen it up, get some new video formats in, and I was thinking it would be really cool to do a new in beauty video. Now if you guys like this it will hopefully be a monthly thing, falling around the middle of the month as opposed to the end, but no particular kind of time, but basically just talking about products that are new releases this month, so different to my monthly favourites which are often rediscoveries or old products that I've only discovered that month, this is going to be all about new products that have been released this month. Just as a disclaimer as well, if you guys don't know, being a blogger and a YouTuber I'm lucky enough to get sent quite a few things, beauty bits and bobs to try. Some of this stuff I have been sent, a lot of it I have bought as well, so I'm going to put a little asterisk next to the ones that I've been sent in Info Bubbler just in case you guys want to know what I've been sent and what I haven't sent just to tell you. Also if you guys haven't seen my get ready with me video from last week I am doing some more book signings and a London meetup and if you guys want to come that would be totally awesome. I am going to put all the info in the info bar below so you guys can check that out if you do want to come. I'm doing Glasgow, Newcastle and London. If you're in one of those places come and say hello. Okay so on to the good stuff aka the new stuff. Um, first of all for high street affordable items Barry M has launched a lot of new things this month. The first one is a concealer, which is their light reflecting concealer. This is meant to be a kind of highlighting concealer, and it says total imperfection cover. Now that is definitely a lie, because I would say this has a fairly light coverage, but it is good for under your eyes. It's quite nice as a highlighter. I wouldn't want to put this on spots. Um, or imperfections really, I would just stick to the under eye and highlighting purposes. Um, and also the one disadvantage with this, this is shade 3, it's the darkest shade. As you guys can see, it is pale even on my skin and I am a fairly pale person. The next thing that Barry M have released are lip glosses. I've got two colours that I picked up the other day and I think these are replacing their old lip glosses. I'm pretty sure they are because they are very similar in scent and in shade and everything. The colours I got were two and four. There was another colour that I wanted to get, however they had sold out, so I got four because I thought I wanted to try a pale one and see what it was like. These, similarly to the old lip glosses, all have different scents. So this one, the pale one, which is number four, smells like sweeties. And this one, which is number two, which is a gorgeous coral. Oh my god, it smells so good. Probably got it on my nose now. It smells kind of like um, sour sweets, you know, like Tang Fastics. <laughs> Love it. I actually really, really like this colour. This one I think is harder to wear. I do really like these for their formula. They're really creamy and they do have a kind of nice colour payoff, but they're not, you know, they're not liquid lipsticks, they're still lip glosses. They are called Lip Boss High Powered Gloss, and I think they're really nice. And then the final thing that is new from Barry M are these Matte Me Up Crayons. I picked up, again, two colours of these in three and four. The colour range I wasn't crazy on. I think there was a red, and then I really, really love this colour, which is a kind of your lips but better rosy um, colour, which I think I'll get a lot of wear out of. And then I picked up the pink one just because I wanted to test out um, how nice the kind of brighter pigmentation was. One issue I have discovered with these is it happened in store in the tester and I thought it was just the tester, but actually you have to be very careful. I think they're a fairly dry formula, so I don't know if it will do it now, but I opened this and the whole crayon fell out, so I had to stick it back in. So just be careful with these. What I do love about these is that they're matte, but they're not really dry, kind of cakey, awkward, uncomfortable matte. They're still quite a nice moisturising formula. The colour payoff is really nice and in general I think for an affordable alternative to the kind of Clinique chubby stick type product, they are really good. Moving on to more drugstore stuff. The first one is a palette from Sleek. And this is their Iron Cheek palette in All Day Soiree. I haven't actually used this yet but I have swatched it and I really like it. In general, the sleek eyeshadows and blushes are really, really good quality, and I like the fact that they've finally kind of put them all in one palette and made it travel friendly. This is actually $9.99, so it's a bit more expensive than the eyeshadow palettes, I think, but it's around the same price as the 
um, trio blush palettes that you get. You get one blush, which is in like a pale pink, you get a highlighter, and then you get four eyeshadow colours, three of which I really like. This orange one here, I'm not entirely sure I wear that, but I'm going to have a play around with it and see what I think. They do have another colour in this, but it's definitely meant for darker skin tones. It has a lot, like the blush is very, very dark, and the highlighter is quite dark. So if you are a bit darker, they do have another colourway um, that I think might suit better. And then lastly for drugstore stuff, I'm super, super excited about these. When I saw them in the shop, I was like, ooh. <laughs> um, these are from L'Oreal, and I can't remember the name of them. They're like the Infallible Mega something, but they have Infallible in them. They're the new lip glosses from um, L'Oreal. These came out, I think, fairly recently. I had a look online and it said they came out mid-May. It kind of is mid-May, so um, when I saw them they must have just come out. They have loads of different colours, maybe 15, 20 different shades, and they've divided them up into neon, which this one is a neon, um, there's a shimmer, and then there's a cream. This is a cream. I only got two of these because they actually had sold out of most of the good colours. The shimmery ones were way over the top too shimmery, like glitter lips, which I'm not a big fan of, the kind of metallic lip look. However, I picked up one of the neon colours. This is really nice, however, they don't have much pigmentation. They're, the red neon I actually swatched, I don't know why I didn't get that one. Well, I do, because I like pink. Um, but the red neon one actually is a really, really beautiful colour. This is almost clear, um, but I'll get onto the kind of formulation stuff um, in a minute. Uh, but the creams are gorgeous, like absolutely gorgeous. They have great pigmentation, they go on smoothly, they're not sticky, and if you guys can see this, again, I'm gonna do close up so you can see, but they are just generally gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. They have different scents. The neon ones smell like watermelon. The creams smell different. They smell almost like a little bit biscuity, vanilla-y. But what is interesting about these is that they have the same applicator as the YSL glosses. The actual glosses themselves do have um, more than just a slight similarity to the YSL glosses. So they are, I wouldn't say they're quite duped, I haven't uh, had enough time to actually go to the counter and test all the YSL colours, but generally what L'Oreal do if they have a new release in their premium brand is a year or a few months later release it, um, a similar formulation into their more affordable brands, but they don't have the same colours. So I imagine the colours aren't the same, but the formulas are very similar, and the applicator is the same, which is really, really nice. I do actually have one more high street thing to mention. Um, it's not technically drugstore, because it isn't in Boots or Superdrug. It is from Topshop, and it is their anniversary range. So Topshop Makeup, I actually did a blog post on this last week, Topshop Makeup have been around for five years. That has gone really, really fast, but to celebrate they brought out some of their best selling products in special limited edition rose gold packaging. So if you like their Glow, which is their kind of cream highlighter, their liquid eyeliner, which is really good, and their cream blush in, it's the corally colour, Head Over Heels, these are really, really good as well, and they're about six pounds, a real bargain. And then they've released five of their best-selling shades um, of nail polish and five of their best-selling shades of lipstick. If you like any of those and you like rose gold, I'd recommend going and picking up um, a new one whilst they still have stock of these because they are limited edition um, and I think they're really pretty and... Yeah, I'm just generally quite a big fan of Topshop makeup. Moving on to the more high-end, expensive makeup, I was really, really lucky and got sent a couple of things from the Gucci makeup range, which I saw when I was in Dubai a few months ago, and stupidly I didn't pick anything up. I saw it, and because things generally in Dubai are more expensive than in the UK and the US, I was like, I'm gonna wait till I go to the States, and I'm gonna get it in Sephora in the States, because it was in Sephora in Dubai. Turns out, really hard to find in the States, and I didn't manage to get any in the time that I was there. However, it's launching now into World Duty Free, so if you are travelling, you can pick it up um, at Duty Free. So I believe you can get it online as well, so um, if you are not travelling, you can order it online. However, the packaging is just stunning. Gucci's one of those brands that I'm surprised they haven't um, released makeup sooner. Formulation of these, I tried them all in the shop when I was in Dubai, and they are gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. This is the blush. The packaging is kind of... Um, vintage luxe 80s. It's quite um, retro looking, which I really, really like. I think it's kind of classically elegant and um, a little bit 80s, which I do really like as well. So um, I really like the packaging and the formulas are beautiful. It is expensive, as you would expect. I think the duo um, 
eyeshadow is around £38, the lipsticks are around the £25 mark. So it's where you would expect it to be really, it's kind of up there with the Chanel makeup and Dior makeup and things like that. So um, no surprises there, you're not going to be like, oh Gucci makeup, £5. Um, but the formulas are beautiful and it definitely as a treat would be a very, very nice, um, either a gift or a treat for yourself. I'm going to do a blog post on these in the next few days. If you guys don't follow my blog, then go and check it out. Um, and otherwise you'll be able to see the close-ups. But in general, really excited that Gucci are doing makeup. Probably won't be buying a whole makeup bag full of it, but it is really just totally luxe. And I think compared to, say, the Tom Ford makeup, I think it's still um, a little bit cheaper. And quite honestly, I think the packaging is slightly better. I think the, the, the Gucci packaging really is... Beautiful. I also got to try a couple of bits from the YSL Summer Collection and I'm not overly taken by this collection. I normally love YSL and I have done since I was a teenager. They've released um, a full range of these full metal shadows and these are two colours. I got six and three. One of them's like a green, which to be honest I wouldn't wear. The other one is actually a really beautiful um, taupe kind of purpley grey colour which I definitely would wear however the formulation of these they're kind of cream eyeshadows but you put them on um, they are very sheer and once you kind of blend them out they're definitely buildable but the formulation just isn't anything special to me and it's not something that I would spend a lot of money on but they have released a new formula of their glossy stain lip gloss which I love this is the I believe it's called like the water pop or something like that, Rue, it doesn't actually say on here, um, but this is number 203 and they've released quite a few shades of these. They are quite similar to the originals but they're a little bit um, lighter, it's not quite as glossy, it's almost, it's not matte, but it's almost like quite a nice natural finish and this colour is a really pretty kind of corally pink and then they've also introduced a couple of nail polishes, I think there are three different colours, I think there's like orange, pink and red under the same kind of water, um, clear neon type thing. I do actually quite like this, but I think it, for me it's probably not something I would spend a lot of money on. I might buy something like this if it was um, a drugstore version, but maybe not an expensive one. I tend to go for like a more opaque look, because this is quite subtle. Um, if you don't wear nail polish normally, maybe this would be up your street, because it does give you that really pretty kind of just a wash of colour. So all in all, YSL Summer Collection, not my favourite one from YSL, but there are definitely a few bits and bobs in there that I like. And then lastly, one of my favourite collections this summer in terms of design is from Ciate and it's their South Beach Socialite collection. And I just love the design of the packaging of this. It's like very kind of art deco, it's got the rose gold, really, really pretty. And there's obviously a lot of thought has been put into all of the packaging. It's actually quite a big collection. They've got a bikini body balm, which is kind of along the lines of Benefits Bathina, like a, a shimmery kind of body balm. They also have... Um, some bronzers, there's two different shades of the bronzers, these are really really nice and then they also have um, the duo eyeshadows which are called Precious Metal Eyeshadows. These are our, like little pots that have the primer on the top and then the loose pigment eyeshadow on the bottom and this colour in particular looks very pink in the pot but it actually shows up a beautiful rose gold, it's ocean dry. One thing from this collection I don't like and I wouldn't recommend is the Lash Locked water resistant mascara. I've got the original mascara from Ciate which is really really good. The waterproof one. There's waterproof and then there's like impossible to get off and I struggled to get this off my eyelashes. I had to wash my face like three times um, and use eye makeup remover and cleansing balm and it's still, there was a little bit still on there. Like it's just impossible to get off so I wasn't a fan of those. But what I really really love from this collection is the duo lip product which actually looks more beautiful in the packaging I think than it does in the stick however this is amazing it has a tinted balm on the top which is lovely and then it also has on the bottom a really gorgeous lip stain and this is just a really nice colour bright pink can sometimes be a little bit tricky but I really like this kind of darker version of it really really nice and this stuff stains I put it on my hands the other day when I first got it and it was there all day. Like I washed my hands like five times and it still wasn't gone. So a really good lip stain if you're looking for something long wearing. They also do have a really nice nail varnish uh, collection as part of this collection, which is rose gold. There's like a rose gold glitter. There is a white and then there is a coconut scented top coat, which is amazing. I actually don't have it all together in the packaging, but 
I would definitely recommend checking out the nail varnish um, package from that collection as well. And lastly, a new perfume release this month that I was quite excited about is the Roger and Gallet Fleur de Figuier perfume. It's not for the name, I promise. I really love this scent and previously they only did it in a, like in body products, like a body oil and they also had um, a body spray which I like them but the scent just doesn't smell and it kind of annoys me because I don't want to carry it around in my bag all the time. They finally released an Eau de Parfum. This is 50 ml. It's quite expensive. It's 40 pounds I think which um, because Roger and Gallo is like a bath and body brand I thought it would be a bit cheaper but the scent is really lovely. I love fig anyway, but this one is a slightly more feminine, like lighter version of a fig scent. A lot of the time with fig, it's very kind of earthy and heavy, but because this is fleur de figuier, which I assume means like fig blossom or flower of the fig, um, yeah, it just smells really lovely and floral and it almost has a sharp kind of tart scent to it, which I love. Um, I really like the kind of... Um, sour smells in a way. So that's it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoy the new format. Let me know in the comments what you think and if you'd like to see another one. I'll be back on Friday with a food related healthy eating video so I hope you guys come back to watch that and I'll see you next time. Bye! Hey guys and welcome back. So today's video is going to be about my travel essentials and kind of a what's in my travel bag video as well. A little bit of a hybrid. So I'm going to be talking about things that I like to take traveling, skincare tips whilst traveling, both for the flight and for actually